Welcome back to Askewed Reviews, where today we are doing our first unboxing. And since we've been doing so much with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I decided to do a mystery box that involved them, specifically the 80s cartoon series. So, this is what I ordered. Let's take a look here. And what could be inside? It's styrofoam and some boxes. The first thing here, the 35th anniversary. Oh, that's clearly a glass. Check that out in a moment. And then two smaller white rectangular boxes. I'm getting styrofoam all over my fingers. Let's see. Anything else in here? Uh, no, just a block of styrofoam. That's a little disappointing, but we'll see what we have. And there's apparently the point in the video where I decided that you guys want to watch me put the box back together. And then I said, ah, screw it. All right, so the first rectangular box, as you can probably tell, it's about this time in the video that I realized I should have grabbed something to cut these open. But I decided that I was just going to use force and open it anyway. Okay, so in this one we have, oh, okay, that looks like one of their weapons and, oh, it's a pie server. Okay, that's a pretty cool decal that's on there. It's pretty nifty. Alright, so, anything else? Nope, nothing else in that box. Now the next one, once again, I'm just going to force this open. Uh, it looks similar. Okay, it's got another handle like the last one. And, ooh, it's a pizza cutter. Oh, look, I can see myself in the reflection. I didn't realize that at first. This is pretty cool. It's actually a really nice pizza cutter. All right. Once again, the glass. This one I'm just going to leave in the box for now. Pretty cool. Yep, that's definitely going to go on my shelf. All right, so what's in this box? Oh, okay, okay, I can already see some turtle heads. Now, what exactly are they? Uh, oh, okay. They are salt and pepper shakers. Let's see. So we got Leonardo. And we have Raphael. I do wish one of them was Michelangelo, as he's my personal favorite. But they're still very cool, and I like all the turtles. So let's put everything together here. So we got the salt and pepper shakers. We have the glass. We have the pizza cutter and the pie server. So when it came to this mystery box, it's pretty cool. I don't think it was worth the amount I paid for it, though. I paid about $66. I would have liked a little bit more for that amount, but everything was still cool, and I'm definitely going to keep all of it. The company I got it from was called Stylin Boxes, and it's still some cool stuff, and I would definitely check them out too, just because they have a lot of other options as well for mystery boxes on their website, and I may even get another one at some point. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, and if you'd like to see more, just mention it in the comments. And as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe.